What is up, everyone? Happy uh, Wednesday. It's Wednesday, uh, August 2nd. Green day today, plus 490. So decent green day. Would have been a really big, probably a four-figure green day if it wasn't for this guy right here, this, this Baba. I don't like him. So start off with a volume runner in Baba, minus 480. And that was, I'll show you what happened there. Square, uh, volume runner, plus 210. And then a really nice continuation runner in NVIDIA and Amazon. And NVIDIA is getting to the point where it's getting pretty big to trade. So, um, you know, it's like, do, you go, do I go in two contracts or four based on the price? Because it's, it's in and around the $7 mark. So it's like, do you go in 1400 bucks or about 2800 bucks? Um, and so kind of what I do with that is markets were down today pretty, pretty substantially. There was, you know, some bad news that came out and, um, uh, I was going short. So I, I went with four instead of two. If I've been going against it, then I probably would have went two. So that's how I do that. When some of these stocks start getting up into six, seven, $800 or, you know, $8 per uh, contract. So. Let's go to the charts. So Baba, so Baba had this big volume bar and it was red the entire time. And in the, probably with like 45 seconds to go, I got short right here cause it had popped up. And then in the last 10 seconds, it flipped green. So because the markets were weak, I kind of gave it some time, but when it, when it pushed above this consolidation, uh, actually it came up to the consolidation. I added to it and when it pushed above it, I bailed on it and then you can see what it did. <laughs> I mean, it would have been a monster winner. Um, well, maybe not a monster winner, but because of this ad, it would have been a really nice, nice sized winner if I, but between this one flipping in the last 10 seconds to green and it pushing above this consolidation, it just made it a tough one. So not happy with Baba. So square, big volume bar right here. And it popped up. So I got short right here. And finally, it had come down to um, lows of day, came down here, and I got out of half. Um, and then it started to come up, and I just wasn't interested in the chopping. Um, it, it, even from where I entered, I entered at about 76.4 and, you know, when it was coming back up, it was like at 75.8. So, I mean, it's not even a point. So looks like it's coming back down. You know, I, man, I could have held it, but I was in it for 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, you know, 40 minutes. I was in it for 40 minutes and it went about a point. So... That's I just cut my losses there. Uh, NVIDIA. So let's take a look at that. That was a nice winner. So um, it popped up to here. And I, you know, everything was weak. So I got short um, right up here as it popped up close to this pivot. And sure enough, it rolled over. And I got out of half and then got out of a quarter and ended up just cutting my last contract, you know, down here. And it was getting a mighty 90 long. So, you know, it's a nice movement um, of about five points down to here in 15 minutes. And you can see that was a good out. And then Amazon, I kind of entered about the same time. It popped up. I got short here on a downside continuation. It had this down, downward push, pop up, downward push, pop up. Got this downward push. And... Um, Kind of same thing, uh, when it started to pop up here, I wasn't interested just because the range was some, somewhat tight on it. Yeah, I probably could have held it, but I got out right about there with a 210 profit. So I will take it and we'll have to, we'll have to really get back some, some of our money back on this guy right here uh, in the future. So hope everybody has a great day. I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace.